There are many reasons why you may want to add a custom link to your header within your menu. Let me show you in this video how to do that within the menu. I want to bring a link into my menu up here. When people click on that link, it takes them to an external site, something not part of Brizzy. For example, let's say for some reason I want to lighten up their day by showing them this cute little pug with their little hat on. To do that, the first thing we do is to copy this URL. Control C, Command C. Then you go back into your project. Go to the settings on the left in the sidebar, and this will open the pages screen. To go to menus, click up here in the tabs. And you will see I already have a menu that I have created here with links and submenus. Here you notice it says custom link. Click on the custom link and add it to menu. Now we will edit this one. Click on the settings and over here, the first thing you do is that you paste the custom link, that URL that we had copied. The second thing is to give it a name. Custom link doesn't work, right? Let's say your cute dog. And I want this link, when people click on it, to open a new tab in the browser. Click on open in new tab. Save changes. Click outside. Click on update. And if you just created this in the menu, you will have to refresh this page in the builder so you can see the menu update. Let's click up here on refresh. And now you see the cute dog custom link appears up here. Let's go view it on the front end to see how it works. Click on cute dog. It opens that external link with our cute little dog. And this way you can create many custom links within your menu. You can also create a custom link to link to an anchor within Brizzy. For that, we have other tutorials to show you how you will do that with one pagers and jump links.